Now let's understand about the group by inner sequel. So we use a group by clause to group rows based on the value of a column. For taking example, suppose this is the table I have. In this table, suppose I have to find out how many employees are there in each location. So in this case, what I will do? In each location, I will try to group. This location column, I will try to group. When I will group this location, how many unique values I will get? One India, one USA. Because when I will group it, I will try to group this two as a one, USA as a one. And based on that, I have to find out how many employees are there. Means I have to find out in India how many employees are there. You can see one and two. These two are from in India. So what result I will get? India and the two employee. In USA, I have a two employee. So USA and the two employees. So whenever you have to group this all the rows based on the column value, then we use a group by. Now let's try to solve this. Now I have to find out the number of employee present in each location. If you have to find out number of employee, how actually we write? We write select count of ID if I will do, I will get how many employees are there. How many employees are there. But in each location if I have to group, then what I will write? Count of ID, comma location from EMPL table, I had to group based on the location, group by location, group by location. So this is how I had to write. Now if I will execute this, you can see it, it grouped based on the location. So in India we have a two employee, in USA we have a two employee. So like that if you had to group any column values, then we use a group by function. Now my second requirement is like, I have to find the highest salary employee from each location. In each location means I have to group based on the location. So in India, who is the highest earning salary? This is the highest earning salary, right? From USA, what is the highest earning salary? This one is the highest earning. So how actually I can find out? For highest earning, what I will use? Max of the salary. Max of salary will give me the highest. Based on each location, I have to find out. So I will comma location from EMPL and I will use group by location. Location. Now, if I will execute this, this will give me, you can see from India, this is the highest earning employee. From USA, this is the highest earning employees. Now, I have to find out the similarly for the lowest. Find the lowest earning salary from each location, from each location, find the lowest earning salary from each location, then in this case what actually I can do, select minimum salary, comma, location, from EMPL, and I have to use group by EMPL, means what, group by location, group by location, based on each location we are grouping, right? So I will write group by location. So from India, what is the minimum salary of employee? 99 lakhs. You can say from India 9 lakhs, from USA 6, 6 lakh. Now you have to find out the total salary. What is the total salary in each location? So in this case, what will happen? This two I have to sum and this will be the India total salary. This two I have to sum, this will be the USA total salary. So what I will write? Select sum of salary sum of salary each location right comma location from EMPL group by location group by location now if I'll execute this you can see from India this is the total salary from USA this is the total salary so like that actually we can use a group by so sub now suppose you are getting a requirement, you have to find out the total salary from each department. So in this case, what you will use? From each department, I have to find out the total salary. So what I will use? Instead of location, I will use a department. So what I will use? Instead of uh, location, I will use a department. If I have to find out total salary from each department, so I will use DPT. So what I will write? Group by department. Department. So from each department, what is the total salary? This I will get. So you can see if I will group it, 
you can see from HR this is the total salary from the sales this is the total salary from SD this is the total salary from SD to this is the total salary as of now only one one record is there but if you have a multiple record then it will group it and it will give you the sum of the salary so like that actually we use so we use a group by function always with the aggregate function that you have to remember and that is the important point also